here we have part three of the famously racist Steven Crowder and famously crazy Alex Jones talking about Black Lives Matter. Uh, so far, it's been quite hilarious. Just Alex Jones spitting a bunch of uh, spitting a bunch of his crazy conspiracies with no real backing or anything. Let's see what else they have to say. Well, Stephen, I'm glad you bring this up because this is critical. Tetanus. It, the police aren't the enemy. No. The Democrats want to make the lowest level of government the enemy because they know there's a revolution against corrupt government. So right. they say, let's have a revolution. Let's burn down the local city hall. That's just so the Democrats can take, again, full control. Oh, don't worry, Jones. Uh, all levels of government are corrupt and all levels of government will be taken care of. So I I'm not against police. I'm against the Democrats getting control of the police and setting up a police state and back under Clinton. Can I, can I ask you one question? I want you to continue. Well, now, Alex Jones would be totally okay with uh, right re uh, the right wing having some type of police state. He would totally justify it uh, because he's totally for the right. He's totally crazy and he is uh, a bit of a Christian. Well, why do they give the uh, Casino El Camino a pass? You know, I don't know why. I, that's that's. Didn't that's, Guy Fieri go there and have a buffalo burger? You know they. Wait, Alex Jones doesn't have some kind of uh, reason as to why this gambling establishment is still open. It, that's kind of surprising. He seems to have an answer for everything else. They do have good burgers there. Do they? I've heard they've had good burgers. I, we went in the other day. We, I did have a burger. Not heard it. They were pretty good burgers. But I've never seen so many carabiner keychain clips. They. All Wow, wow, he's, he's trying to act surprised that this gambling establishment is open and wondering why it still is. Yet, he goes there and eats burgers from the joint. So, the idea of uh, some businesses being open and some not, it's not that really big of a deal to Steven Crowder because he just pretty much told he doesn't care. They all look the same, that's how you know they all look different in there. Well, I'll tell you this, uh, one time our crew went in there and they said, we don't like Ron Paul, we don't like Alex Jones. I probably hadn't eaten a burger here in 15 years. And uh, my crew beat their bouncers' asses. Really? Yeah, we absolutely beat the uh, shit out of well, them. Well, I don't know if... Wow, okay, so Alex Jones is totally in favor of beating people just for words when he's always been against uh, such behavior. Uh, you know, it, that I, I think that's uh, that's that's quite funny in my opinion. If I would say that on camera, but go back Anyways. to what you're talking about the police state, <laughs> the police state. Oh yeah, uh, here's one. Yeah, I wouldn't say that on camera. I wouldn't say that I had my bounce or had my bodyguards or whatever beat up people for just saying they don't like me. Uh, but hey. He said it, and it's on a video. One of the places that got looted right here. You want to go across and look at it real quick? Sure. Don't let us run You mean private stock? Or private All Saints stock Tattoo? Private stock. Oh. Yeah, actually, we got a video of it. But I'm not really being coherent on this police thing. I'm trying to explain it. No, no, I understand. Back when the federal government was more globalist, trying to turn the police against us and saying our main enemy is constitutional terrorists and the police are going to take our guns, I'm against police being captured by the deep state being used against us. But when the police wake up to the New World Order, like has happened, and the globalists and Soros are unable to take control of them, and Soros and them try to then destroy the police to take them over, I totally support the police in their constitutional role. Right. <laughs> well, well... He, he just keeps flip-flopping back and forth. Yeah, absolutely. There is a constitutional role for police, namely to protect citizens' rights. And when they start violently looting and protesting, that's infringing on other people's absolutely. rights. Absolutely. The real out-of-control system is the anarchy trying to set up its own government. They only want anarchy for a few weeks until they set up their government where we have no rights, just like in Chop and Chaz. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, anarchists want to, you know, take down the system so that they can... Uh, remove the rights of everybody else. Right. People that weren't communist or weren't, you know, basically devil worshippers or antifa were not welcome. Right. Well, that place was the ultimate police state 
with, with a bunch of warlord goons controlling it. Right. I don't want our police to turn into warlord goons. No. I don't want anarchists funded by George Soros who's overthrown Ukraine and other governments setting that up again here. Well, okay, so first off, I want to go back to that. What happened here? You said this place was looted. It seems like a lot of places have had, obviously, windows smashed in. Is there something particular that happened here? A lot of places got robbed here in Austin, but this one got caught on video, and you can time lapse it. And actually, some, our crew was here. Wasn't Savannah here? Savannah was here. She she caught some of the best footage you can use. It. We'll give it all to oh, you. Thanks. And yeah, everything we got is hers. And she caught. Well, here, Savannah, come over and tell uh, Steve Crowder about it. You can, okay. So there was a big BLM riot. It was the George Floyd riots when we right. first started. Yeah, this is early on. Yeah. So they started up over there at APD. People started marching down. And come closer, so as Mike picks it up to start over. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm well, sorry so about that. There was a lot of uh, rioting going on because of the George Floyd uh, riots at the beginning of all of this. It started up at APD. They marched down this way, and I ended up getting it perfectly on film right when they went in. They broke down all these windows, and again, this is a black-owned business, y'all. So they broke down the windows, they looted everything inside, and they just took off down the street. There was actually people in the bars because the bars were still open. Mm -hmm. And I mean, everyone, the police were standing there just watching as well because there's nothing that they could do. There's just too much of it going on. Exactly. Now, right, R right. there's nothing the cops can do. I mean, if the cops wanted to, they could have stopped that. But uh, cops, time and time again, prove that they can um, take down various criminals and stuff, not calling these people uh, that uh, looted the store criminals. I'm talking about like actual other cops committing crimes and stuff, which is the whole uh, reason for Black Lives Matter happening and the uh, amount of anger uh, people have over the system um, uh, year after year uh, abusing uh, the citizens and allowing cops to murder people. Um, if cops were to actually, you know, uh, do their jobs of stopping crime and as, you know, which would include cops committing crimes, we wouldn't be having this kind of issue. I mean, look at the uh, Cannon Hannett um, incident where the guy was arrested within 24 hours of the murder of the child, yet people, uh, like Breonna Taylor go months and months without justice and the cops acting like they can't uh, arrest another cop for whatever reason. Right now there's no one here so I guess my for some reason I always feel like I'm in trouble when you walk up with a camera like that you're about to shout me down like Steven Crowder is funded by the Glo New World Order. That was a joke you know. No no I know but um this is one of those situations where, okay, we see this. Now, is this is, it, is this a style choice, or this is bent because they tried to reloot it? I think they tried to reload it. Well, that's just silly because there's no more private stock, clearly. Um, my situation here is there's no one around, so is the rioting and looting, because then you see footage, for example, when we came in, there was nobody around. Then the next morning, we see footage of more riots and looting, and there was tear gas because of Garrett Foster stuff going on. Is it only happening at night? Because it's completely dead. Yes, it mainly happens at night. Okay. And, and then or it's happening during the daytime and you're just not in an area where the protesting is happening because no protesting does not just happen at nighttime now there's not very many of the bars or restaurants open plus they have limited numbers that can come and i think it's like 25 percent everybody's wearing masks and then all you have is basically roving gangs out here so like vampires that can't find anybody to, to you know, kill or, or feed off of, they then go down to the highway and the frontage roads and the side roads, and they're now going off up to, I'd say, 10, 20 blocks away and uh, now looting people's cars, attacking people. They're coming up to old ladies' cars, yeah. trying to drag them out. Uh, I mean, it's, it's very frightening. Uh, that's probably not even happening. Uh, show some evidence of that before you just start making some claims. But we know Alex Jones, he loves to just make random claims without evidence like black lives matter is funded by george soros uh i'm gonna end part three here uh come check me out for part four hit the notification bell and subscribe peace out